Hi, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. This is my second Canva tutorial. And today, I'm going to teach you how I design my memo pads on Canva. So let's um, begin. I'll share my Canva screen with you now. Magka-Canva po muna tayo. Show screen. And here. Okay. So, can you see Canva? Okay. So, ngayon, mag-create ako ng design. So, bahala po kayo kung anong size na gusto nyo gawin. Um, this time... Uh, gusto ko gumawa ng 4 by 6 na size na stationary pad or memo pad. So, dito tayo sa create a design, so right side. And then, um, we'll go to custom size. And we'll go to 4 by 6 inches. So, kung hindi yung panagamit, yung 4 by 6 inches, hindi yun malalagay dito. Ito na nandiyan yung option na yan because I have already used that size before. So, kung hindi niyo po makita yung option na yan dito, pwede niyo pong ilagay dito. So, sa width, ilagay niyo yung 4. And then sa height, ilagay niyo yung 6. And then you just change the PX to inches. So, usually nagaganyan siya. So, ulitin niyo lang. Ayan. And then... 4 by 6. And then, create new design. Okay. So, nandito na tayo sa canvas natin. Um, so, ngayon, gagawa ako ng design. Hindi ko pa actually alam masyado kung anong design ang gusto kong gawin. Um, hmm. Okay. Gagawa tayo ng simple design. Da. So, uh, huh. so, try natin change. Mahilig ako sa paint. <laughs> So, mag-paint muna tayo. Yung light pink na. Mag-paint po. Dati. So, pink. And then, gagawa ta gagawin natin pink yung border. So, hindi tayo mag-paint all the way. Yung pink na yan, ay gagawin ko lang na border ng aking, um, ng aking stationery. So, maglalagay ako ng square. So, dito tayo sa elements. And dito po ako sa right side. Click on elements. And then, this will show up. Click on shapes. So, kayo po bahala kung anong klase shape ang gusto nyo. So, since gagawin kong border yung pink, I'll use the um, square. So, dahil sa naka, naka ano tayo, dahil sa naka, naka pink tayo, uh, mago automatic pick the new square, but you can you can change that, and we will change it to um very very bright pink. I no 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 no. Let's change it to white. Okay, so click ni po itong color na to, yung color box. And then, punta kayo dito sa choices ng colors. Click nyo lang po dito sa white. So, magiging white na siya. Kaya siya hindi masyadong white kasi nilagyan natin siya ng transparency kanina. So, click on transparency dito sa right side. Medyo sa taas. So, let's click on that. Um, so, let's let's do with maybe 6, 16, 71, 70, 6, 70. Okay. So, measure that in that. Okay. Okay. So, ayan. So, gagawin natin siyang border, iba. So, i-extend natin siya. Extend dito sa baba. Ayan. So, may border na tayo. Now, let's look for a design. So, anong gusto niyo ba? Mga kawaii-kawaii, cute-cute, ganyan. 
mahilig ako sa kaway. Pero hindi ko ako sa serious. But I feel like, um, so kung magkaway-kaway na yun, so magkakaway tayo. Uh, ay, ang cute naman itong uh, strawberries. Huwag nga tayo ng kaway ng strawberries. Ang cute o. So, let's try this. So, iuulog lang natin yan dyan. Ang daming cute! Ang daming mga Dance. Pwede natin paikutin yun yan. I yeah. Yeah. Ayaw galawin nyo lang siya. Ito, using this, yan, ma ma maikot-ikot nyo siya. So, Teka, ba't parang iba yung design ko kanina? Ay, parang mas quick na ito mo. Parang ayaw ko na siya. Ayaw ko na siya. <laughs> let's not do that. Okay, let's look for another design. Let's look for another element. Wait na. I'll charge my lap. Cute. Ay, ay, yung strawberries. Ang cutie. Kung gawa kaya tayo ng ano. Gawa kaya tayo ng ike. Bigyan natin. Ayan, lakihan natin. Ayan. And then, hanap tayo ng box. Add a text box. Okay. okay. So, after, after natin malagay yan, run. So, after ko ilagay yung element dyan, I'm going to um, add a text sa bandang taas. So, dito po sa left side, let's click on the add text box. And let's make it bigger so that it will be easier for us to edit. So, meron po ako mga um, in-upload na ng mga ibang points dito. Probably. So kung kung wala pa naman kayong na-upload na gusto yung gamitin na phone uh, pwede naman kayo humanap na lang dun sa mga ibang uh, available na phones. So other a very, have a very good day. Ayan. <laughs> have a very, have a very, have a very good day. Okay, good. Have a very good day. Have a very nice day. Have a, a very, very, okay, good day. Oh, parang ang sagwa lang. Pero, but it's cute. Ano mas maganda? Itong pawn? Ay, bakit yun? Very, very, I'm very good too. Okay ba yun? Or mas cute yung kanina? Okay. There. So let's see. So I'm just uh so you can you can put it here, you can put it here. So I like to put, I want to put it here. 
If nalalakihan kayo dito sa space between the lines, we can um, click here dito sa taas. Nakikita niyo po itong mga lines na ito. Tapos may arrow. So that will um, allow you to change the spacing. So click on that. And then sa so line spacing, medyo liitan natin. Go to the left. Ayan. Okay, very good. A very good tactic. Yan. Tapos, naging natin ng lines. So, it's up to you if you want to have lines on your stationery. Um, or if you want to have a blank. A uh, plain lang na ano, writing space. But ako, I like lines. So let's um, look for lines. Put the put dito sa elements ulit. And then, uh, hanap tayo lines. Okay, so, ito po yung mga available na lines sa atin. Click on this one. At ako napunta dun sa arrow. Magaling natin. Okay, so click on that. Um, meron po dito tayo sa taas na a line style. So, I will be clicking on that kasi it will give me options on how my thick or on how uh, thick or thin the my line would be. So, uh, na, nga, sa ngayon, naka four ang line weight niya. So, I want to use only one para manipis lang. And then, I will also use another color. So, maybe we can use Okay. So, ayan. So, hihilain lang po natin yan hanggang dito. Ayan. Okay. So, what, will, what I will do is to just duplicate the line. Ayan. So, so, um, remember, dun sa unay nating tutorial, uh, para makapag-duplicate tayo, we can use, we, can, we will highlight the thing that we are going to duplicate. So, we are going to click on it. And then, control D. Ayan. Or, pagka-click nyo yan, may lalabas naman na plus. So, yung plus, yun yung shortcut ng duplicate. So, just click on the plus and it will duplicate it for you. So, click. So, siguro mga after mga twice or thrice kayo nag-duplicate, pagka clinic niyo ulit yung duplicate, siya na yung mag-adjust dun sa um, size nung Spaces. Ayan. O diba, meron na tayong stationary. Meron na tayong 4 by 6 na stationary uh, design. So, all you have to do is to just print it out on your printer. And then, um, pwede nyo na siyang, pwede na kayo mag-print ng marami nito and then you can just, um, you can just you can just use it or maybe you can also um you can also make it like a pad of some sort so gusto ko meron pang ibang ano dito sayang ang space dito so medyo lagyan natin ayan i-shorten natin ngayon yung line so, let's shorten the line. Yan. O, diba? Ayan. Adi, may stationary na tayo. Ang cute, diba? It's simple. But it's also cute. 
So that's the end of my very short tutorial and I hope that you enjoyed it. At sana ay um, itry nyo din na gumawa kung kayo ay mahilig sa stationaries, um, stationary pads, memo pads. Um, Kayang-kaya nyo pong gumawa sa bahay ng inyong sarili stationary items. At uh, kung gusto nyo, pwede nyo din siyang eventa. So, okay. thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you on my next Canva tutorial video. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.